too far behind the play to the field to that sideline. Downfield where Deion Smith is going. Sliding through two. Arizona Wildcats rolling through a few more. Look at Deion Smith go for first and goal. Heck of a play by running back Deion Smith right there, but the Buffaloes fall here in Tucson, Arizona, back in a stampede. You remember this guy, number 86, right? Defensive lineman for the Buffs. We tracked him down. He worked a sideline for us in the Colorado football number. First off, how'd you enjoy uh, getting that broadcasting thing? Uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's a lot different seeing it from the other <laughs> side, but uh, I enjoyed myself. <laughs> His day job, he's a lawyer. He's always been a smart guy. He kind of was uh, slumming with Gary and me working on the broadcast here. All right, you were down. We got a field vision of what was going on with Colorado. What's your postscript uh, thoughts on this one? You know, I think the, the buffs are close. You know, um, what they have to do is learn how to trust each other. In a lot of areas, I think right now, you know, when you're down, you're losing games, it becomes hard to trust each other. Offense does something bad. Defense feels down, goes out, gives up plays. And I think that contributes to it and it, and it starts spiraling. So I think right now, you know, they just need a spark, you know, something to go their way that can motivate them. That doesn't mean they're going to win all their games, but I think that they'll start playing a lot better. You know, it's, it's interesting, George. As, as George was talking to us on a radio broadcast, you were talking about a lot of things like you just touched on, a lot of the mental aspects aspect of what we're seeing. There's physical mistakes, but what's going on between the years is so important. You know, that, that is football. Uh, you know, confidence in football is a huge thing, right? The more confident you are, the better you'll play, and that confidence becomes contagious. And, the, you know, the inverse, right? If you're unconfident, yeah. that also becomes contagious. And I think that's a little bit of what's going on right now. Definitely, you know, they are playing some talented teams that are making a lot of great yeah. plays against them, but there's a spiraling effect because they don't have the resiliency to come back from something. I always think about the great comment by legendary coach Bill McCartney. I always used talk about the mentalist to the physical is four is to one and how important that is. The, the defensive issues we're talking about here. A lot of times guys are in position, the tackling issues and just, you know, missed minor assignments. You know, it's trust. I think one thing the defense could do uh, moving forward is to swarm a little better, get multiple hats to the ball because, you know, if you're going to miss one, if yeah. there are four of you, hopefully one of the four will get them down. Yeah. But I also think that there is a lot of uh, – there's a lot of, uh, of talent there. There's a lot of things that guys can do to be successful. Buffaloes end up falling 43-20 here in Tucson, Arizona. The Wildcats, after what we heard from one of the leaders in this team, one of the offensive linemen, Casey Roddick. Powered by Ford. Cars, trucks, and SUVs built for America. Built Ford proud. Defensively, we've got to tackle better. Offensively, we've got to complement the play on defense better. So I think we saw a better offense this game in terms of kind of just trying to stay on on with drives but still we have to finish we have to finish better offensively but it, it is disappointing at the end of the day and we know that but I didn't see this coming we all didn't see this coming but still you have to grind this out I mean at the end of the day what else are you gonna do but work and that's all we can do that's what we're gonna do coming forward we got a lot of guys who can play on the old line that's one group on this team that I know that when I'm in that room, we're gonna fight and throw us triple zeros in the offensive line. And we know that, we know that we got a young quarterback that we gotta protect. So it's heightened to another level. I know in the offensive line room, there's every single play is heightened to another level. And so if everybody could take that consideration, then I know we're gonna be successful. Anthony Hankerson's doing a really good job back there. Van Woe is doing an excellent job. Chase Sowell even, Jordan Tyson. That core is gonna not only get stronger, but it's great that they're getting the experience now because two or three years from now, they're going to be something special. That's one of the leaders for the Buffaloes, Casey Roddick, after the Buffaloes fall 43-20 to Arizona. As we continue with George Hibbelite, he worked the sidelines for us on the Colorado Football Network. Well, now you go into a bye week. What do you do if you're this team? I know Gary keeps talking about hitting the rock, but from a player's perspective. you got to flush it. That's yeah. the first thing you got to do. you got to flush it and realize a new season has started. This is a chance to start fresh and learn from your mistakes. After that, I think Coach is right. you, you got to start hitting the rock. you got to start going back to the basics of the things that you started with in training camp and trying to shore them up. And you got to take an honest look at yourself and make sure that you're ready for what comes next. George, take us into the locker room a little bit, though. When you're a football team and you're struggling, and you late in your career had a time or two when you guys are struggling a little bit. I'm, I'm being kind when I say that. Um, you, in that locker room, when you don't have a, a veteran-heavy team like this, what transpires with the players? What needs to happen? Somebody has to step up, mm -hmm. right? Somebody has to take it upon themselves to take it personally and step up and, and, and to start to set an example. And, and that, that just takes, you know, guys showing up early, staying late, and just being committed to figuring it out. Yeah. That's a tough process, the mental aspect of this with this bye week coming up. And, you know, there, I suppose when that happens, there's a lot, you've gone through byes. There's a lot of reps that need to be taken place. Go back to the basics, correct, moving forward? 100%. Um, you, you, you get a chance to self scout and to correct the mistakes and the things you put on film and hopefully to get better without having to worry about preparing for a specific opponent. Yeah. What was your take on uh, what you saw? You played against those offensive lines, that offensive line for Colorado. 
You know, the offensive line for Colorado doesn't have a lot of continuity right now, and it sort of shows they don't communicate very well in between the lines, and that's something that I think in a bye week they can really work on. Yeah. That unit, of course, has got to have a little cohesion in there moving forward, helping us bust off the offense a little bit, you know, protecting that quarterback, opening up some holes for those uh, running backs out there. Owen McCown, what was your take on him? I think the kid can sling it. You know, he he has uh, a lot of good attributes, and I think right now he's just young and gun shy. He's trying to see the plays come open before he throws them. Yeah. You got a chance to do something in this broadcast business, I'll tell you. You did a nice job. Did you enjoy yourself? I appreciate it. Yes, no, no, no. Working with legends, you, you always <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't know about that. He did a great job. George Hippolyte was on the sideline for us as the bus fall here in Tucson, Arizona, who's sitting at 0-5 in a season. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at a green initiative within the athletic department at the University of Colorado. That's after a break.